Hi everyone, konnichiwa minasan. Welcome back and today we are making clementine cupcakes. So before I get into this recipe, I just wanted to comment and apologize for Tuesday's Stephen Avery cupcakes video. Um, I know it offended a bunch of you and I totally, totally did not mean for it to be like that. I am so, so sorry. The whole day I felt like my stomach was like so sick, I felt horrible because that so, so wasn't the intention. Um, I meant for it to be like a happy kind of video showing support for him, but it totally came off in the wrong way. So I'm really, really sorry. And again, I feel so terrible for his family and everything that he's gone through. I was happy and bouncy in the video because that's what I'm like in all videos. I think it'd be such a shame for a case like his to get a lot of publicity and to have everybody talking about it, but then people just slowly stop and get distracted by something else. Meanwhile, his situation hasn't changed at all. So I wanted to talk about it, or I wanted to like bring it up again, and I mean it's still quite in the media right now, um, but that's that's why, so that it doesn't get forgotten, um, especially on YouTube because things stay on YouTube, but um, that's why I did it, and I so, so did not mean to have it look distasteful or anything like that. That was so, so not my intention, so I really, I want to apologize to every one of you. I am so sorry. So I decided to take it down just because it's in bad taste, and I just like, yeah, it, it shouldn't be there. So um, again, I am sorry. Um, I hope that you you still like my channel. I hope I didn't put too many of you guys off. And yeah, let's get going and make another nice cupcake recipe. <laughs> so the cupcakes that we are making today are little clementine shaped cupcakes and they not only look like clementines but they taste like clementines as well. So they are a clementine batter and then they have some clementine buttercream on top and then they're actually filled with homemade clementine jam. So Gax Maha actually requested this recipe a few months ago and um, I thought it'd be really really cute and they actually requested a, an orange cupcake recipe but I figured that since it's January and clementines are really seasonal I'd use clementines instead but you can always use orange instead if you like. So let's get started. So first to make the jam you're going to need 22 clementines and you want to peel them and separate the flesh and the peel. Bring a pot of water to a boil and add about half of the clementine peels. Then discard the remaining peels. Bring the water back up to a boil and then strain them and let them cool. Once they've cooled, slice the peels into 2 millimeter thick strips. Then place the clementine flesh into a blender and pulse until smooth. Pour the blended clementine and sugar into a pot and bring it to boil. Then you want to remove any scum from the surface. Add the peel and simmer until the mixture reduces to about two thirds. Then pour the jam into a mason jar and cool. So to bake the cupcakes, sift the flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and salt in a bowl. Pour the dry ingredients into the bowl of an electric mixer and add the egg and egg yolk, water, buttermilk, oil, vanilla, clementine zest, and orange extract. Beat that on low speed until it's fully combined for about three minutes. And so if you don't have buttermilk and you don't want to go buy a huge container of buttermilk, what you can do instead is combine some water, no not water, you can combine some milk and some white vinegar and then mix that together and put that in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then you will have homemade buttermilk. Then pour the mixture into a cupcake tin lined with cupcake liners. And you want to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Cool them in the pan for 20 minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack and cool them completely. So to make the buttercream, beat the butter in a bowl with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add the vanilla extract, orange extract, and clementine zest and mix well. Add the confectioner's sugar one cup at a time until it's fully combined. Then add the orange food coloring and mix until fluffy. So then to decorate the cupcakes, make a hole in the center of each cupcake and fill it with jam. Mount some buttercream on top of each cupcake to look like a round clementine. Then pour some orange sanding sugar into a bowl and dunk each cupcake into the sugar, coating the entire surface of the buttercream in the sugar. Gently round the tops out with your hand if the buttercream gets misshapen. Then stick a small piece of pocky into the center to look like stems and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Next week we are making cheese recipes and I'm so excited to make them and film them and then eat them. So make sure to come back on Tuesday for a new cheese recipe and I love you guys so much and yeah, I will see you next week. 
Oh, also, I'm taking over Tastemade Snapchat tomorrow on Friday, so make sure to check out Tastemade Snapchat if you'd like to see what I get up to. I'm going to be doing some recipe testing, and it's going to be really, really cool. I'm going to make breakfast in a rice cooker. So make sure to check that, and yes, I will see you guys later. Bye.